Welcome to part two of the WordPress blogging tutorial. Uh, we've covered some of the basics of creating a post, adding links and tags, and publishing. Now we're going to get into some of the advanced formatting capabilities available to you in WordPress. To start, I want to make you aware of the different formatting options you have available to you. So between the title bar up here and the text of your post down here, you have this row of icons. These are your different formatting options. If you click this icon all the way to the right, show or hide the advanced toolbar, you'll see you get even more options. The first one we'll look at is justifying text. Right now you'll see this text is left justified, but depending on how you're writing, maybe you want it in the center or maybe you want it right justified and this is the way to do that. We'll move it back to the left and the next thing we'll look at is lists. So I've made a list of a few different formatting options that you have under the heading of examples of formatting options. To turn this into a list, let's say these are the four items on the list, I have the option of an unordered list, also known as a bulleted list. That's what that looks like. And we also can make that into a numbered list or ordered list if we decide. One by one, I'm going to show you also different formatting options for the text itself, including bold, italic, underlined, and colored. Occasionally you may want to quote something directly from another source. It's up to you how much of that you want to quote. Generally it's considered good practice to also cite the author or at least the a link to the blog or uh, article where it was taken from. So underneath here is a sample quote. I have cited the source. In this case I'll just use Click Sharp Marketing. Here is the quote. Put it in quotes and on the toolbar we'll choose the indent slash block quote formatting option and you can see it's now been indented and you'll see it looks different in the final post as well. Also I want to show you about custom characters. Sometimes you may want to put in a character that's not available on your keyboard or your standard character set. So maybe underneath here I want to put a copyright notice for instance. Uh, let's outdent so that we're no longer in block quote mode and I might write copyright 2008 click sharp marketing and wouldn't it be nice if I could find that little copyright symbol well in fact on the advanced formatting toolbar you have the insert custom character option you click that and there is the little copyright symbol drop that in and that looks a lot more professional Also, I want to point out, at any time you may decide that you don't like the way something looks, you want to use the undo feature to uh, undo what you just did. You got that option right here. Notice the copyright symbol has been removed. You can always redo it if you decide you wanted it in the first place. Right next to that is the redo button. At this point, if you're happy with the formatting work you've done, you can go to the bottom. And again, you can save it or if you're ready to go live with it you just click publish and here's what a finished product will look like you've got your title up here at the top underneath that some left justified text various formatting in an ordered list that's the one we went with you've got bold italic underlined and colored after that here is the block quote notice how it's in gray and it's indented to indicate it's different from your original text We've got the copyright notice with the special character, and that is a complete post with advanced formatting. Okay, that'll do it for part two of the WordPress blogging tutorial. Next time around, we're going to look at new kinds of content, including adding pictures and embedded video to your blog, as well as spell check and other search engine optimization friendly measures. Thanks for watching.